Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about implementing half adder using demultiplexer in digital electronics course and digital logic design course and switching theory and logic design course. First of all, we have to know about what is half adder, what is the block diagram of half adder, what is the truth table of half adder. Once we are knowing these things, after that how to implement half adder using demultiplexer that can be discussed. Okay, first of all what is half adder? Half adder is a combinational circuit that is used for performing the addition operation between two bits. That means to perform the addition operation between two bits, we have to use a combinational circuit called as half adder. This is the block diagram of half adder. Half adder can take two inputs a and b and produce two outputs one is sum output and the second one is carry output okay half adder can take two inputs a and b and produce two outputs that is sum and carry okay how many number of inputs are there in the half adder? Two inputs. So inputs A and B. How many number of outputs are there? Two outputs. That is sum output that can be denoted by S. Carry output that can be denoted by C. Now in this truth table, these are the inputs and these are the outputs. So, N is nothing but number of inputs. How many number of inputs are there? Two inputs are there. With the two inputs, how many number of input combinations we are getting? That is 2 power N. That means 2 power 2. That is equal to 4 input combinations we are getting. That 4 input combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. These are the four input combination. So, 0, 0, the equivalent decimal value is 0. 0, 1, the equivalent decimal value is 1. 1, 0, the equivalent decimal value is 2. 1, 1, the equivalent decimal value is 3. Now, how to fill the sum column and how to fill the carry column. So, when we are performing the addition operation between the values of two inputs, then we are getting some value. If any carry is generated, that carry value you have to write here. First, first row I am considering 0, 0. That means 0 plus 0. Okay, so 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. There is no carry is generated. Therefore, carry value is 0. Next, second row, 0, 1. Now, we are performing the addition operation between the two bits. 0 plus 1, that is nothing but 1. There is no carry is generated. Therefore, carry value is 0. Next one, 1, 0. That means 1 plus 0 that is equal to 1. There is no carry is generated. Therefore, carry value is 0. Next row, 1, 1. We are performing the addition operation between the two bits. 1 plus 1. That means 0 with the carry 1. 1 plus 1 is nothing but 0 with carry 1. Some value is 0 and the carry value is 1. Okay, so we are performing the addition operation between the two bits 
if any carry is generated we have to write it here if there is no carry is generated that value can be written here okay some value we have to write here next so once we are constructing the truth table of a half adder now we have to find out the boolean expressions for each and every output of the truth table of half adder first we have to write the boolean expression for sum output okay in terms of sum of min terms so sum of min terms can be written as sigma m now in the sum column where the ones are present here one is present here one is present so for this one what is the input combination a value 0 b value 1 and what is the equal and decimal value that is 1 1 is nothing but here min term number so here min term number 1 next here 1 is there the corresponding input combination is 1 0 the equal and decimal value or our min term value is 2 okay only two ones are there two ones corresponding to min term one and min term two okay next now we have to find out the boolean expression in in terms of sum of min terms so that we have to consider the carry column in that carry column where the one is present okay one is present only here the corresponding input combination is 1, 1 and the corresponding min term over our equivalent decimal value is 3. Okay. Now, so this is the Boolean expression for these two outputs of the half adder in sum of min terms. Next, we have to construct the half adder by using d multiplexer okay so which d multiplexer we have to use for implementing half adder by observing the truth table of half adder okay so there are four possible input combinations are there for each and every possible input combination we are getting one output okay here how many number of outputs are there for each and every possible input combination for this possible input combination one output 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 here four possible input combinations are there four sum outputs and four carry outputs are there okay in any demultiplexer four outputs are there in one by four demultiplexer okay we are considering one by four demultiplexer because one by four demultiplexer contains one input and four output so that we have to use 1 by 4 demultiplexer for implementing half adder. Okay. Now, block diagram for implementing half adder using 1 by 4 demultiplexer. As the name implies, 1 by 4 demultiplexer contains 1 input and 4 outputs. One input is represented by input and four outputs are represented by 0, 1, 2, 3. One input and four outputs. Hence, we can say that it is the block diagram of 1 by 4 demultiplexer. Okay. Among the four outputs, at a time, we are getting only one output is selected among the four outputs how one input is selected by using selection lines 
how many number of selection lines are required to select only one output among the four outputs. So here four outputs can be represented as 2 power 2 that is equal to 2 power n. Here n is nothing but number of selection lines. In the place of n what is the value is there? 2 is there. So therefore n is nothing but number of selection lines. How many number of selection lines are required to select only one output among the four outputs? That is equal to 2. Okay. That two selection lines are S1, S0. So S1 and S0 are selection lines. By using that selection lines, we are selecting only one output among the four outputs. Two selection lines are required to select only one output among the four outputs. Okay. This entire operation can be done when the enable input E value is equal to 1. When the enable input E value is equal to 1, the demultiplexer perform its operation in a correct manner. If E value is equal to 0, the, the demultiplexer does not perform its operation. Okay. So hence we can say that this is called as control input. Okay. Enable input can also be called as control input. By using that control input, the demultiplexer can perform its operation. Now, how to implement half adder by using this 1 by 4 demultiplexer? Okay. To implement half adder, we have to get two outputs, that is a sum and carry. Whenever we are implementing these two outputs by using this demultiplexer, hence we can say that 1 by 4 demultiplexer can implement the half adder. Okay. How to implement sum and carry outputs by using 1 by 4 demultiplexer. Here, the sum output can be obtained by, by sum of these two min terms 1 and 2. Here, min term 1 is nothing but output 1. Min term 2 is nothing but output 2. When we are Sending these two outputs to two input R gate. Then we are getting the sum output. So sum output, yes. This one is sum output. Next one, here min term 3. Min term 3 is nothing but here output 3. So here from this output, Directly, we are getting carry output. Okay. So, this is the sum output. This is the carry output. Sum output can be obtained by taking the two outputs, 1 and 2, that can be sent to two input or gate. Then, we are getting the sum output. Next, here, carry output can be obtained directly by using the output 3 of the demultiplexer then we are getting carry output by using this 1 by 4 demultiplexer we are getting sum output and carry output of half adder hence we can say that we are implementing the half adder by using 1 by 4 demultiplexer so this is our end, implementing half adder using demultiplexer. Here, what type of demultiplexer we are using? 1 by 4 demultiplexer we are using. By using that demultiplexer, we are getting half adder outputs such as a sum and carry. 
when we are getting the two outputs of the half adder hence we can say that 1 by 4 d multiplexer can implement the half adder okay so this is the procedure we have to follow for implementing half adder by using 1 by 4 d multiplexer okay i hope all of you understanding this video if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will try to clarify your doubts if you really understanding this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates and told them please subscribe my youtube channel so divela srinivas rao after subscribing my youtube channel so click on the bell icon to get the future videos or future updates in my youtube channel so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you thank you one and all for watching this video